in this room is out of the roof. What do you have to say? Thank you and Namaskar. पहले तो तहे दिल से शुक्रिया कि आप सब इतनी भारी मात्रा में आए हैं आज हमारी फिल्म के लिए तो उसके लिए आपके लिए a huge round of applause. Thank you so much. Thank you. Also तहे दिल से मैं शुक्रिया कहना चाहूँगा कि आपने हमारी प्रेम कहानी को इतनी इतना सारा प्रेम दिया है, स्नेह दिया है, and we're very overwhelmed with all the love that is coming our way. ऐसा हुआ है कि आज की शुरुआत हम एक्चुअली एक ऑस्पिशियस वे से करना चाहते हैं आप जैसे जानते हैं जिन्होंने भी पिक्चर देखी है वो फिल्म का जो अंत है वो उनकी शादी होती है फिल्म में और हमने बहुत प्रेम इनफैक्ट इसमें भी एक कहानी है आलिया और रणबीर की शादी हुई थी और फिर चार दिन बाद हमारी सीक्वेंस हम शूट कर रहे थे आलिया और रणवीर की तो आलिया उस हफ्ते दो बार शादी कर चुकी थी एक लिटरली रियल लाइफ और एक रियल लाइफ और शादी की मेहंदी जो आलिया की है वो एक्चुअली इस फिल्म में जो थी वो सेम थी अपनी शादी की मेहंदी उसको बस डाकिन किया था हमने और हम जाके जैसलमेर में हमने वो फिल्म वो गाना हमने दर्शाया पिक्चराइज किया वेब भी मर्चेंट ने इतनी खूबसूरती से उस गाने को पिक्चराइज किया लेकिन जब लेंथ का प्रॉब्लम आने लगा सब ने कहा कि अरे 250 मिनट्स के नीचे होना चाहिए डोंट क्रॉस 250 मिनट्स 248 247 पे डाल दो देन वी न्यू के फिर हमको उस गाने को एक डब्बे में डाल देना था और रोलिंग क्रेडिट्स को फिर उसके साथ इट ब्रोक माय हार्ट एस अ फिल्मेकर ट्रूली एस अ फिल्मेकर इट ब्रोकन माय हार्ट को हम लॉन्च कर रहे हैं और यू विल बी द फर्स्ट टू सी इट एंड देन इट विल ड्रॉप ऑनलाइन लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन आई गिव यू प्रीतम दास फेवरेट कंपोजिशन रिटेन सो ब्यूटीफुली बाय अमिताभ भट्टाचार्य पिक्चराइज्ड एस रॉकी एंड रानी की शादी एंड आई होप यू एंजॉय दैट बिफोर वी गो ऑन वी वुड Please put your hands together for the only Rani of my life and now the Rani of the industry and will remain Alia Bhatt. Uh, before we ask you something, let's call the boom box boy. Now you all have met Ranveer. He didn't know what he was born. He didn't know what he was born. But I think that I and Alia will be the same thing, pun intended, that there is Nobody who brings that kind of energy on a film set that Ranveer Singh comes with. Or I was working with Ranveer with him, which was actually very calm, composed, and took his own energy to the set during a day. I felt a shock in a culture shock. Then I realized that all the work he does, 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 अपनी परफॉर्मेंस को इनहेंस करने के लिए ले आता है। इस किस्म की एनर्जी ना मैंने देखी है, ना मैं देखूंगा। But I knew one thing, he was the most indispensable character in Rocky और रानी की प्रेम कहानी। There would be no Rocky Randhawa if there wasn't Ranveer Singh, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Ranveer Singh. Ranveer Singh, ladies and gentlemen, जैसा है सर हमारा boombox boy है, जहां आता है बड़ा सा boombox लेके आता है, उससे भी बड़ा दिल, Ranveer Singh, Alia Bhatt. Rocky or Rani or in key frame Kani, now I will give it over to them. They have to invite members of their family. So I'll go first. Um, Rani ka kirdar or mera part would not have been possible without the authenticity of my family. Or jis din Karan ne mujhe bataya tha ke mere uh, ma or mere baba or meri thakuma ka who is the one who is the one? I knew that day onwards that, let's go, my job is very easy to do it. So, I would, without further ado, like to bring on stage two very, very, very special artists and the heart and soul of the Chatterjee family. I'd like to take this special... Thank you, Apurva. Thank you, Ajit. Thank you. My... I felt, you know, like one of my biggest items on my dream and bucket list were realized when I cast this legendary actor. I remember going to his house and meeting him and as well trained by my parents, my immediate in instinct is to go and touch his feet, which I do till today. And he looked at me, he asked me the story and at the end of that uh, meeting, I was very nervous because I knew 
He was such a critical part of what I wanted for the film. And I said, oh God, I hope and pray he says yes. And lo and behold, he looked at me, he said, I picture karna chata hoon. Ye character mujhe bahut pasand hai. And I looked at him and I said, Dharam ji, I'm blessed for life that you will be in our film. And with love in all our collective hearts, with utmost respect, regard, reverence for this man who is unstoppable even today and has the charisma, to, to unmatchable charisma, literally, please, please welcome with love in your hearts for none other than Dharmin. The cine lovers, what do you have to say? So, you know, I, I always say that at Dharma, we really had the privilege and the good fortune of making many wonderful movies. But very rarely do you come across a film that you make that gives you the critical success and the commercial success in equal measure. So, I think there's deep gratitude from all of us for what the, the kind of love this film has got. And I'm on a personal note, I'm going to tell Karan, you can't take such a long break for the next film. We need to go to the cinemas more often and laugh and smile. Thank you so much for sharing that. Ajit sir, so good to see you again. Uh, what are your views on this, you know, collaborating with this, this powerhouse of talent and of course the wonderful people here? See, first of all, before I answer that, I want to say that the legend, and there are many legends out here, but the legend that Karan already is even before this film, with his filmography, he didn't need to prove anything to anyone. You know, but that is the nature of an artist. You know, he wants to burn. And I've seen him now through this making of this film, how he was consumed with this test that he put onto himself to prove himself to himself. So Karan, you don't need to do this. You are there, the film is there, but I think it's the result of that passion, that the love that's coming from all over. Like we talk about numbers and you know, at, at our studios also, there's so many films we do. I don't think I've seen in a very long time the kind of unified reaction. I have not come across anyone who's yet to say, theek thi ya maza nia. everybody has loved the film. And I think that's a, such a source of satisfaction for all of us. And I think it's all his passion which is doing this. This was an important film for us because Gehraiya, uh, Jug Govinda Mera Naam, but this was really the Kohinoor in our partnership. Right. And who doesn't want Kohinoor to shine and how well it has shown. So thank you, Karan. Thank you, thank all you, of you all. You. Wonderful cast. And I think all the love that's coming your way is fully deserved and enjoy this. It's all yours. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. And of course, it indeed is a Kohinoor. Hum sab ke liye audiences are back at saying, chalna picture chalte hain. Picture lagi hai. This is what uh, people are saying for Rocky or Rani ki ye prem kahani. And now it's over to the wonderful, wonderful uh, members of the press. Uh, we'll just, I know you guys are awesome, but we'll just keep the questions related to the movie. Aaj isi ki baat karte Ma'am, aye. Ji. Uh, Karan, main khade ho ke is film ka uh, welcome karna chahti thi. कि आपने महिला सशक्तिकरण पर इतनी खूबसूरत फिल्म बनाई हल्की फुल की बातों में आपने बहुत गहरी गहरी बातें फिल्म में की और इस फिल्म के लिए मैं आपसे एक बात कहना चाहूंगी कि जब दादा साहब फालके लेके आए थे हरिश्चंद्र तारामती तब महिलाएं नहीं आया करती थी महिलाएं उसके नाम से भी थर्राया करती थी और जो जेंट्स रहते थे वही फीमेल कैरेक्टर यहाँ तक कि जो तारामती बनी थी वो भी मेल कैरेक्टर था तो आपने जो इसमें जो डांस किया एक तो मैं उसमें रणवीर और जो उनके साथ हैं उन दोनों को भी बहुत धन्यवाद देना चाहूँगी कि उन लोगों ने उसको शास्त्रीय नृत्य से इतनी इतनी गहराई से और इतनी खूबसूरती से जोड़ा है तो आयुष्मान खुराना मेरा सवाल ये है कि अभी अभी हम आयुष्मान खुराना से मिले थे और उन्होंने हमें कहा कि इस तरह की फिल्में आएंगी तो हमें इस तरह के जो कैरेक्टर वो ड्रीम गर्ल में इसी तरह का कैरेक्टर कर रहे हैं उसे मजाक नहीं बनाया जाएगा क्योंकि अब तक जितनी भी फिल्में आई हैं दादा साहब फालके के बाद सारी की सारी जब पुरुष कोई बनता है महिला तो उसका मजाक उड़ाया जाता है उसको एक टैलेंट के रूप में या उसको एक कला के रूप में नहीं लिया जाता है क्या इस बात को बल मिलेगा आपकी इस फिल्म के बाद आई थिंक जिस दौर की आप बात कर रहे हैं 
उससे तो हम काफ़ी आगे बढ़ चुके हैं मैम और ऑलरेडी आई थिंक हमारी सिनेमा में इंटरनेशनली और नेशनली दोनों अभी ऐसा हम डिवाइड ही नहीं करते एनी मौके मेल सेंट्रिक फीमेल सेंट्रिक हीरो सेंट्रिक हेरोइन सेंट्रिक सब जानते हैं कि औरतों का जो जो कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन वो चाहे बड़े पर्दे पर हो या बड़े पर्दे के पीछे हो हैज़ बिन equal if not more uh, to the men and more power to the women who have contributed so deeply to cinema um is uh, tota uh, or uh, ranveer uh, ka jo naach tha wo kathak performance thi on dola re dola is not only a homage uh, to mr sanjay leela bansali but also a homage to the fact ke hunar ka koi gender nahi hota aur aur ye humne tota dwara already ye baat humne Uh, बहुत ही uh, साधारण लफ्जों में कहा था और दैट इज माई बिलीफ एंड दैट इज द बिलीफ ऑफ द राइटर्स और ये हम कहना चाहते थे कि वाकई हुनर का कोई जेंडर नहीं होता एंड इन बस उसी एक लाइन में वो पूरी बात समझ आ जाती है थैंक यू मैम फॉर रेजिंग दिस क्वेश्चन एंड आई होप यू वॉच द फिल्म अगेन करण करण नमस्कार मैं नमस्कार खान नव भारत टाइम से मंच पर जितने भी लोग हैं आलिया मेरी प्यारी रणवीर मेरा प्यारा और बाकी भी सब धर्म जी आपको भी नमस्ते सबको मैं बहुत सारी मुबारकबाद और बहुत सारी बधाई देना चाहूँगी फिल्म मतलब इतनी कमाल की हुई है वो ट्रेलर से ही पता चल रहा था लेकिन करण मेरा सवाल आपसे है कि फिल्म में एक जो हम कहते हैं ना कि हम एक पारिवारिक जो हमारे हिंदी सिनेमा के जो हमेशा से एक मूल्य रहे हैं उसको आपने एक बार आपकी फिल्मों में वो हमेशा होता है लेकिन एक बार आपने उसको फिर से एक रिवाइव कर दिया तो उसमें आपके पारिवारिक जो मूल्य हैं आपके जो वैल्यूज़ हैं फैमिली मूल्य हैं उसका कितना कंट्रीब्यूशन रहा है आपकी इस फिल्म में देखिए जाहिर है कि जो भी निर्देशक होता है या लेखक होता है वो अपनी ज़िंदगी से कहीं ना कहीं कुछ छांट के बड़े पर्दे पे डाल ही देता है और ऐसी बहुत सारे किरदार हैं इस फिल्म में चाहे वो टोटा का हो या अंजलि का हो इन दोनों दौर से मैं खुद गुजर चुका हूँ जहाँ तक परिवार की बात आप कर रहे हैं तो धर्म जी का एक लाइन है जो मेरा बिलीफ है कि घर नहीं तोड़ते जब धर्म जी की ये एक बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण लाइन है और वो एक लाइन मेरी फैमिली और वैल्यू सिस्टम को डिफाइन करता है कि घर नहीं तोड़ते नो मैटर व्हाट यू ट्राई एंड होल्ड ऑन टू फैमिली एंड आई थिंक उसी उसी उन्हीं अल्फाजों में मैंने अपनी अपनी भावनाएं डाल दी है सो ऑफ कोर्स दिल के भी करीब है और हम, मेरे भावनाओं के भी करीब है हेलो हाय पूजा नवाथ हेयर फ्रॉम ऑसम टीवी माय क्वेश्चन इज टू रणवीर सिंह कंग्रेचुलेशंस फॉर द सक्सेस ऑफ द फिल्म रणवीर कैन एनीवन एल्स प्ले अ दिल्ली बॉय बेटर देन यू आई डोंट नो दैट्स नॉट फॉर मी टू से बट या आई एम ग्लैड दैट अमंगस्ट वेरियस दिल्ली बॉयज दैट आई प्लेड आई एम एबल टू फाइंड समथिंग डिफरेंट टू ऑफर Uh, with every character so uh, that's very fulfilling and heartening to learn from uh, the audience's reaction to the film and the character and the performance and your kathak dance was outstanding thank you uh, madam what was the biggest reaction to that she loved it actually it was one of the most memorable and fulfilling movie watching experiences of my life um, i took her uh, on a saturday night to watch rocky or rani ki prem kahani it was just the two of us Uh, sitting in the last row on recliners and i had seen the film already so i was really just there for her reaction and she was a uh, laughing she was crying uh she was clapping whistling and often times turning to me and saying oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so yeah i had uh, the best and most fulfilling experience uh, sitting with her and watching it she's uh, very very proud of me and i'm very happy about that one last question to uh, mr apurva and ajit ji uh, how has your association been with each other you know ycom and dharma i think the best answer is just look at the all the four films that we did together and i think the answer is supplied by those films uh, i think the other thing i want to say is uh, i have been actually very impressed with the amount of uh, nuance and understanding of course we talk about the creative aspects and his directorial uh, you know strength and all of that but i think what has been learning for me is the amount of distribution knowledge that karan has you know and uh, of course apurva uh, you know is standing next to him 
supplying all the encyclopedia but he has such a deep deep knowledge of which territory is supposed to do how much and all of that that suddenly we as a team are slightly under pressure that okay we need to make sure our a game is there all the time you know so uh, yeah so i think it's been a it's been a very very fulfilling partnership uh, we've learned from each other and i hope that we'll be able to you know create a lot more of work together as we go forward purva I couldn't have said it better. I think it's been a tremendous association. I think they have an amazing team and uh, they have been standing pillar strong with us across all the films. And uh, I really look forward to doing more work with Ajit and the Viacom team. I'm sure it's the same with all of us here. Hello, everyone. This is uh, Aina from Instant Bollywood, this side. Yeah. First of all, congratulations to all of you all. I loved the film. I've enjoyed it from my heart. Uh, my question is to Karan, uh, that as a filmmaker, you said that you were very nervous before the release and as a filmmaker or an artist, you're never complacent with what you do. You want to achieve more and more and more. At what point did you feel like satisfied that you have made a good film or was it only after the release and the reviews? Um, uh, truth be told, uh, when a filmmaker knows he's made a good or a bad film is never a good thing. Uh, a filmmaker should never know. A filmmaker should tell his or her story uh, in the best way possible and then hope for the very best. Um, I, I could never at any point say that, yeah, what picture I have made? Or like, khud ko I can't like tap on my own shoulder. Uh, I can only pray that when the film is out, it gets the love that you hope for and the love that you put into the film. I was very nervous. I was very stressed. That whole... Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, prior to the release, I was on the verge of some kind of a panic attack. Uh, but like, and literally, I think. <laughs> but on Friday, I think I started breathing and the oxygen started coming back. And the oxygen was the love that came from everyone, all of you and the audiences. Hi, Nikita, here from India Forums. Um, my mom especially loved uh, the bra conversation scene which happened. So I really want to ask all of you men over here, Aapke ghar mein, when was this topic normalized to talk about? When was this not considered as a taboo? When was it normalized at your places? Starting with you, Karan. Um, I am the only child raised by a very progressive mother. Um, for members of the audience who know her, uh, Bharti being the first one I can see. Um, but it was never a taboo topic. I've gone shopping for her to buy a bra. And uh, it's never been a problem with me. But I do know that while I did it, there were friends who were with me who were horrified that I was actually doing this and why I wasn't designating this job to a female friend of mine to do it. And I was like, why? It's been asked by my mother, why am I sending somebody else to do it? Because my mother is now 81 years old and when she does need something and I am in, in a place that has that, that something, then I have to go and buy what she wants. It could be a bra, it could be any other item. For me, that seemed, felt organic, also because I knew that there is a discomfort around it. And there's a line that Churni says, ke sadiyo se, wo aurte mardo ke chadiyan ghis rahi hai, ghis, ghis, ghis. Aur tum ek bra ko nahi touch kar sakte. And that to me was, was very definitive of uh, what, what people feel about it. I don't know what Churni has to say, but like that was my feeling. Absolutely. Uh, I remember that his, his, his was part of our improvisation. Yes. We put that in. And that is what to say, you know, if we've been washing your underwear for years, for centuries, why is it that touching a woman's bra or even mentioning it becomes such a problem? But then uh, personally, I'm not so preachy <laughs> as Anjali is. And I think I gave Ranveer a very bad time that way. But, uh, of course, what has to be said, has to be said. And I think we made a very strong point there, because of Karan. Dharampaji, aapke thik saamne? Dharampaji, Dharampaji, haan. Dharampaji, aap meri awaaz sun sakte, aapke thik saamne. Mainne yeh puri film dekhi hai, dil se bol raha hoon, yeh sawaal dil se hai, ki aapka woh kissing scene bohot hi beautiful, bohot hi piyara tha, toh agar kuch thoda bohot agar aap bata sakye hai. Haram ji, you're asking about the kissing scene. You and Savana ji, a little bit. Captain has told everything. If you're a captain, then the team plays the team. And he says that after five years, I'm Karan. 
ये पांच साल बाद आए सात साल बाद आए ये अपने जौहर दुखा कर जाएगा <laughs> मैंने जब पहले कहानी सुनी मैं बुरी कहानियों में भी काम किया किसी के लिए पैसे के लिए किसी को हेल्प करने के लिए मगर जिस दिन ये कहानी सुनी मैंने मुझे लगा ये घर घर की कहानी है आप किसी भी कैरेक्टर को पकड़ लो आजकल छोटे छोटे बच्चे डांस करते हैं घरों में मैं एक देखता कि एक लेडी अपने बच्चे को झूला वो अपना झूला रही है झूला और गा रही है मैं झट्टी यह मिला मैं कहा अभी ये तो रणवीर कपूर ही बनेगा रणवीर ने जो किया है ही इज रियली वेरी गुड एक्टर एंड अ वेरी इमोशनल पर्सन आई एन्जॉय एवरी बिट ऑफ माई टाइम विद दिस यूनिट एंड और क्या कहूँ मैं अभी तो शहर में नहीं दुनिया में चर्चा है कि रानी और रॉकी और रानी की कुछ है <laughs> बहुत मज़ा आया दोनों ने बहुत अच्छा <laughs> नहीं पिक्चर की बात कर रहा हूँ धर्म <laughs> जी आपको ऑडियंस के रिएक्शन देखने चाहिए हॉल्स में वो वाले सीन पे मैं बाई चांस जा नहीं सका प्रीमियर में अब बट आई एम मुझे लोगों की बहुत से मैसेज आ रहे हैं कि धर्म जी आपने ऐसा ऐसा मैंने यार ये तो मेरे दाएं हाथ का काम है कुछ बाएं हाथ से करवाना हो वो भी करवा लो <laughs> और मुझे मुझे कहा करण ने कि पाजी जो आप हैं वही रहना <laughs> मैं सोचता रहा यार <laughs> ये आप प्राइवेट बातें क्यों बाहर बोल रहे हो <laughs> मैं बॉबी को बताया मैंने गुड स्टोरी एंड गॉड इज ग्रेट और मुझे भी जब जब मौका मिलता है छक्का मार देता हूँ <laughs> देर से आता हूँ लेकिन आता हूँ तो आप लोगों ने जो दिलों में जगह दे रखी है मुझे ये मैं जाने नहीं दूंगा बच्चों इसे बनाए रखूंगा ऐसे ही बनाए रखूंगा क्योंकि मुझे बनना नहीं आता मैं हकीकत हूँ जो दिल में है मन में है वो कह देता हूँ और मोहब्बत से बढ़कर कुछ नहीं कि मोहब्बत आपकी न देती रोशनी घर मेरे नाम को कैसे बनता धर्म मैं आपका पहुंचता कैसे इस मकाम को इसके इसके लिए एक शेर बोलता हूँ मेरा बच्चा ये इसके तो बचपन से मेरे बच्चे भी सब जानते हैं फैमिलीज के के बेरुखी से उनकी रुख ना मोड़ा मैंने जिद को इनकी जिद से अपनी तोड़ा मैंने आई ना माथे पे शिक जो दिल शिकनी से इनकी मुस्कुरा कर गए लिपेट एक दिन कहते हुए बेशरम कहीं के <laughs> कुछ इस तरह का रोमांस अच्छा लगा बहुत मज़ा आया मैं तो जो बोलते थे मुझे मालूम था जो मैं भी कर रहा हूँ जो मुझे दिया गया करने को इसमें दम है तो जैसे भी मैं निभा गया आप लोगों ने पसंद किया है आप मतलब आप भी सिर्फ कैमरा ही नहीं देखते आप भी पिक्चर भी देखते हैं लव यू ऑल आई एम हैप्पी बिकॉज ऑफ माई कैप्टन माई को स्टार्स माई होल टीम आई एम ग्रेटफुल टू दैम इट वॉज वेरी नाइस टाइम फॉर मी ये ब्लैंड हुआ ऐसे इनको देख के मुझे लगता है हमारे लड़की को प्यारी सी लड़की को कि ये गोल्डन डेज का राज का मिक्सचर है कि गोल्डन डेज में हम जब लड़की को देखते थे ये टू बी फ्रेंक तो लड़की देखती रहती थी और देखते देखते रह जाते थे और आर्ट भी था लेकिन इसमें जो आर्ट है इसमें बहुत शी इज़ वेरी गुड वेरी टैलेंटेड गर्ल एंड आई ब्लेस हर शी शुड कंटिन्यू and uh, give us some more good picture and then we are you t to okay we need you okay love you all any other question if there is
हाय रणवीर जी इट्स ऑब्वियो वी हैव टू डू अ कॉन्वो बट ऑब्वियो बट ऑब्वियो रणवीर करण सेड इन एन इंटरव्यू दैट द कथक परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ योर्स कुड आई रीड एवरीथिंग दैट यू रोट ऑन सोशल मीडिया अंकिता थैंक यू सो मच इट रियली टच माय हार्ट मींस अ लॉट टू मी थैंक यू मींस अ लॉट टू मी दैट हाउ मच हैप्पी आई वाज थ्राइस इन अ रो हैव डन द फिल्म सो या आई थिंक वंस मोर आई हैव टू गो एंड सी बट करण सर सेड इन एन इंटरव्यू दैट द कथक परफॉर्मेंस यू परफॉर्मड इन द फिल्म कुड हैव gone down south how people would have perceived it or not were you scared to step on the stage at that particular moment perform and what if were you like triggered by that part that they could have been a what if to it well in the initial days of rehearsal i was a bit anxious because um, i've got a lot of muscle mass babes you know my shoulders chest <laughs> bicep tricep very big very tight a lot of muscle mass and density so it was very difficult uh, in the initial days uh, one had to uncondition one's body for uh, the grace of kathak to kind of come in um, but um, i i was getting reports that tota sir is killing it in kolkata he's on it for hours a day putting in the sweat putting in the work and uh, and yeah he was doing it in kolkata i was doing it in bombay and i knew at the back of my mind that uh, um we were safe and secure because we were being choreographed by webhavi ma'am and uh, she is an absolute stickler for absolute excellence um to wo chhodti nahi jab tak unko jo chahe wo mile nahi um so all credit to her to the choreography team who really put us through the paces till the very last hour um and i'm so thrilled with the reaction to that moment i've been in the cinema halls personally to witness that and it is the most euphoric most fulfilling and joyous feeling to see the audience's reaction to that alia uh, samina you are from times of india so my question is to you uh, journalist play karna kaise tha because kare goals sab bhul chuke the aapko dekhte waqt literally i was wondering i hope aise career hota second question is aapki shaadi ke aas paas hi you were wearing that bridal gown and all you know after that maybe so how was that experience and what's ranveer kapoor's reaction to this the um to the uh, journalist thing um honestly the first my first day of shoot was my introduction in the film और जहाँ पे मेरा सीन होता है um, um, वो मिनिस्टर जी के साथ और जो मैं अपनी बहुत ही पैशन के साथ बात कर रही थी उनके साथ एंड आई जेन्यूनली फेल्ट वेरी कंफर्टेबल डूइंग दैट सीन जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ हम मच आई कनेक्टेड एंड देर इज दैट देर इज़ वन मोर सीन जो फिल्म में नहीं है जहाँ पे मैं एक्चुअली रिपोर्टिंग करी थी उसमें मेरे को बहुत मज़ा आया आई डोंट नो दैट आई मेक अ गुड जर्नलिस्ट इन लाइफ आई डेफिनेटली इन्जॉय दैट अ लॉट काफ़ी लोग मुझे कह रहे हैं कोई जर्नलिस्ट ऐसे सारीज नहीं पहनती है बट हाँ दे वेरी सिंपल सारीज बट दिस इज करण जोहर वर्जन ऑफ दैट टू आंसर योर क्वेश्चन अब कुड़माई जो आपने अभी गाना देखा या एक्चुअली इट वॉज इन द सेम वीक फोर डेज लेटर जो मेरी शादी रियल लाइफ में हुई और फिर रियल लाइफ में हुई बहुत ही अलग थी दोनों माय होम वेडिंग विज माय सिंपल वेरी लाइट सारी बहुत ही इजी था मतलब मैं यू नो आई वाज रोमिंग अराउंड वेरी फ्रीली हियर दैट वाज दिस हैवी लहंगा सर पे मेरा एक का हैवी हैवी दुपट्टा आई वाज डेफिनेटली वेरी ग्रेटफुल कि मेरा जो है शादी था बहुत ही सिंपल था घर पर था बिकॉज आई वुड नॉट है डू दो थिंग्स ट्वाइस एंड वन इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग आई टेल यू इज जब हम फेरे ले रहे थे रॉकी और रानी फेरे ले रहे थे तो ऐसे उन्होंने कुछ कहा कि नहीं नहीं फिर लड़का आगे जाता है ऐसे नहीं लड़की फिर आगे जाती है ये लाइक नहीं नहीं ऐसा मैं अभी अभी करके आई हूँ यार मेरे को पता है लड़की आगे जाती है फनी मोमेंट एंड एक्चुअली दैट मोमेंट इफ यू सी इन द सॉन्ग जब रणवीर नीचे जाता है एंड ही पुट्स हिज हेड अ हेड लाइक दैट एंड you know let's me put the varmala on top of him wo actually mere sath hua tha jo pehle ranbir ko utha diya tha aur mujhe koi utha nahi raha tha main dekhti koi uthao yaar mujhe then he only went on his knees and he went down and i put the varma so that was to aafi kafi close close ho gaya sab kuch bilkul Yeah. He loved the film. He lo- he was very into. He sat uh, my, um, Ranbir on my left and my mother on my right and my father right next to my mother and the four of them were just responding and reacting and just re- the way Ranbir said to really see 
a film from your loved one's perspective and Ranbir is very technical, he doesn't say too much, he says very little and he just very simply said it really worked for me, it touched the heart, he was laughing and he said this film will be a big hit. <laughs> Alia, wow. uh, Justin here from Indian Express towards your right at the back. Uh, you heard near the camera. Uh, you know, recently Webhavi Merchant in an interview revealed that uh, to prep for Tum Kya Mile, you visited Shah Rukh Khan for a day. I mean, you had a meeting with him. Uh, what exactly transpired and how much did that help in uh, making the song? Actually, I was not going to reveal this. It was my little secret. Um, but I was very nervous. I don't know whether it was going back to shoot after a couple of months. First time doing a full proper lip sync song after, I think, Ishkwa La Love. Um, yeah, that kind of... You know, that there was an inherent sort of um, um, nervousness in him, me, which I felt that I can do something more to do better. So I was discussing with Karan and Karan said, you know, why don't you call Shah Rukh up? Maybe he'll give you some tips. So I called him up to talk on the phone. You know, I just want to understand from you because nobody lip syncs like you. And he said, you go to home. Suhana, ko, Suhana also, also was wanting to learn this. So we will do the tuition with both class. So you go to the song. And we went and I was there for like about two, three hours and Suhana and I were singing a whole song. There's a whole lip sync portion which Shreya has sung beautifully, which we are going to release now, the extended version of Tum Kya Mile. It's been released, it's been released. No, the video. Oh, the video. The video we are going to release now, the extended version. So it was very fast, 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 fast. So I was very hyper on that fast, fast. But the way he broke it down, he made me download some app and he said, do it once again. He also had learned the song by the end of it. It just shows how generous and such a large-hearted man and so wonderful and just always willing to help and be there for you. And um, whether it helped for this film or not, I know that that experience will be irreplaceable in my life. Karanji, Karanji, hi. You have told Ranveer Singh's energy and you have told that he is very energetic. पहली बार आप उनके साथ में काम कर रहे हैं तो क्या हम ऐसा माने कि धर्मा को एक नया सुपरस्टार मिल गया है? धर्मा को क्यों इंडस्ट्री को सुपरस्टार बहुत पहले मिल गया था पहले रणवीर सिंह यशराज का हीरो है और हमेशा रहेगा और वो यशराज को पहले मिल गया था ये धर्मा की खुशकिस्मती है कि रणवीर सिंह हमारे यहाँ भी आके उन्होंने बहुत बेहतरीन काम किया है और हम यही चाहते हैं हमारे कंपनी में आलिया और मेरी कंपनी में आज इन ये कि हम कि बार बार लगातार रणबीर हमारे साथ अगर काम करें तो मैं बस कहूँगा कि ज़हन नसीब एक्चुअली मैं करेक्ट करूँगी हम बस चाहते कि रणवीर सिंह हमेशा हर हफ्ते काम करते रहे क्योंकि हर हफ्ते उनकी पिक्चर लगी और हर हफ्ते मैं टिकट खरीद के जाऊँगी बिकॉज़ ऑफ़ दिस टैलेंटेड मेरी बिल्ली मुझे मियाओ आप भी जानते हैं आप भी गाइए एंड सर दैट इज ट्रू टेस्टमेंट टू द लेगेसी ऑफ धर्मा एंड आई एम ओनली टू प्राउड टू बी अ स्मॉल पार्ट ऑफ इट do you know, for the first time in the history of Dharma, our logo is only five seconds because of length. So it goes, ah, and that's it. <laughs> if you notice, there is, yes, it's not because I was so paranoid about the length of the film that I was like, sub logos, cut though. So they said, no, cut nahi sakte. Mera title bhi nikal do. Nikal do. So in every other film, you hear the whole chorus. In mine is, ah, cut. It is literally that much. So it's, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that we had to do this for our film. But I felt if I am the only person who can do it and not upset anybody. Because everybody else would want the whole chorus. But I said, but if I cut it, nobody will feel bad. Shukar hai logo kata, sir logo ko nahi kata. Thank you very much. Haan? Sequel ki tayari. Abhi, wo raaz ko raaz hi rehne dete. Tota. Yes, yes. Or as everybody calls you, uh, how difficult is it for a man like you to become slightly effeminate? Uh, not really if uh, my director is Mr. Karan Johar. Because uh, for me, uh, acting is actually trying to fulfill my director's vision in the best way possible. Okay. And uh, when I work under somebody as sensitive as Karan, sir, I know that 
I just have to listen to what he says and try to understand his vision. So whether that character becomes effeminate or slightly, uh, uh, or I get in touch with my feminine side, is not a matter of it's been presented by Mr. Karan Johar. So was that difficult? Not really. I honestly, ma'am, I didn't think about the process at all because uh, I just, I, I, it was a blind dive. It was a trust, a jump of trust. Oh. I trusted him and I submitted blindly to his vision. Okay, thank you. Ranveer, how long did you take to uh, learn dollar a dollar? Um, weeks, actually. Uh, we had a break um, between shoots, schedules. So we had some time. Best way to utilize it is to rehearse. Rehearsal is the name of the game for any performer. He at one point, I'm sorry to interject, but he, uh, he he called me at one point. And he says he's like Karan. I don't think I have a a bone of Kathak in my body. <laughs> like I really don't think I'm being able to do this. He was really initially uh, struggling, and that's why he worked extra hard. Uh, it is because of extra muscle mass. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, it's. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, oftentimes um, due to scheduling, uh, us performers, we don't really um, get the ideal amount of time that one would like to rehearse. There's no end to how much you can rehearse. Um, but here I had the opportunity and I took it with both hands. Tell me, you had a couple of films that didn't work just before this. So was that weighing on you that this has to work? Um, Ma'am, I don't dwell too much um, with failure or success. I am grateful no matter what, the fact that I get to go to a film set um, and perform and collaborate with fine artists. Um, that for me is the cake itself. And the fact that uh, my character and the movie is being loved is the icing on the cake. So I am grateful uh, no matter what. Thank you. Uh, Dharamji, one last question to Dharamji. Dharamji, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, which is your favorite scene in the film? I love every thing in the picture because the first time I saw the locales and the songs, you know, in our work, we go to the songs. We have visuals and we have select where and how we have pictureized it. It's something superb. And in the rest of it, look, Emotion to har insaan ki zindagi mein bagayar emotion ke kuch nahi. Wo jhoot bolte hain ke udasi nahi aati, dukh nahi aati. Aur dukh humesha aapko pinpoint karta hai. Agar wo nahi hai, hum kitna naach le ga le, baat nahi banti. Aur ye kahani, is liye mene kaha ghar ghar ki lagti hai mujhe. Jitna mene jab suna pura mene, aur joh dekha to aur bhi khubsurat laga. And uh, he's a very smart director. When he saw the camera, he would take it. He would take it. Karam Ji, also, I want to know, this film was a lot of years with Jaya Ji. And Jaya Ji had started with you. And you also call him Goody. I call him Goody. She said, his photo session was done at home. Thank you. 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 She was my fan. She used to say, she was telling me the dialogues, even this, that. Um, Goody is a fine actress. And Gharika Ana Jana, Unke Saad Abhi Jabhi Milte Hai, Toh Bho Maza Ata, Acha Lagta Hai. Oh, Goody Hai Hai Meri. And Shavana Ji Ke Saad Bhi Baut Acha Laga, Kaam Karke, In Ke Saad Toh Raha Hai. It is, it is good. I enjoyed every bit of my, जो कुछ मुझे जितना मिला मैं उसको एन्जॉय किया कोई ऐसा नहीं कि ये खाम खा है इवन अगर फुल स्टॉप है या कोमा है या पूरा पंक्चुअशन है वो बहुत सही है एंड आई रियली एन्जॉयड इट ये बहुत रेयर होता है ये ये खाम खा की फुटेज क्यों ये पासिंग क्यों है और फिर मेरे लिए एक्टिंग रिएक्शन है जितनी जोर से कोई जफी डालेगा उतनी जोर से आंखें बंद होती हैं <laughs> I react. Dikhao, demo, I demo re dikhao. I react to my people when they... Demo? Ek jab phi ka demo ho jai.
Thank you. Ranveer. Yeah. Ranveer. Hello, Ranveer. Chiru. Ranveer, why? Congratulations. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it's good. I, I really enjoyed it. Ranveer. Thank you for the question. Ranveer, congratulations first. Uh, this is really a hitting bullseye after 83. We're really waiting for you to hit, uh, like, hit a bullseye. But you know, you are somebody who come over prepared on the sets. How was it like performing uh, and cracking with this, having this cracking chemistry with Alia? Because you know, how much room does it leave for an actor when you are so well prepared? And Karan, do you, are you somebody who like to direct actors or you like to see them perform and, 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 and observe and, and choose, okay, is that working or not? Um, before Ranveer and Alia, I think we should ask um, uh, actors that I've worked with for the first time. So, Shiti Jog, um, who I absolutely love. And I will say one moment about her a little later. And Anjali Anand, who in many ways, this is her launch film. Um, you can ask them actually, Shiti, what, what do you think I was doing on set? <laughs> <laughs> No, to answer your question, I think it is a mix of both. The best thing is that he exactly knows what he wants. And by that, I mean the emotion of the character. So the moment he explains the emotion, you get it. And if you want to go a step further, he's never said no. He's, I know, for, know it for a fact that he has changed dialogues. He's changed scenes. He's changed his angles just because one of us is going a step ahead and trying to say Aisa karke dekh le kya. I think it takes a lot when you need to change the entire lighting only because one actor says Ek step aur jata hu. I think it's fabulous uh, and whatever little that I have worked I think he's one of the most cooperative, easy going uh, and absolutely loving director that I have. He, I think he loves and respects his actors way more than we actually love ourselves when we are performing. It's only because of him you start feeling that yes, you're doing something really, really right. So thank you, sir. Anjali, Anjali here, yeah. Lipika. Hi, hi. You played, sub you, 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 were, your, you portrayed your ca character in a very subdued ma manner initially. When you blasted, you were too good. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> How do you look at that scene, you know? Um, uh, I think a lot have been said about that scene and like she said, like I was waiting that he would give me some direction but you wouldn't even come to know that he's actually directing you. He would just come and have a conversation with you and it would, he just knew exactly what he wanted and I think no director has ever trusted me so much. He knew why he's cast me and he knew what I could do and he just trusted me with what I could do and that scene where I'm bursting out at everybody, um, I think I ate up a few lines which were there because the first time I did it, I was not, we were both not happy with it and I said it can be better and the second time I did it, I ate up a few lines from the middle and I think he said I think it works because I didn't feel it, I didn't say it and for someone who's written such a big breakout scene which is such an important scene in that character's graph, for someone to just be okay with it in a fraction of a second that she didn't say it, that's not a big deal. She said what she felt and we felt what she felt so I think that is a mark of He's Karan Johar. My name is Anjali. What do you think? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Alia, so, this question yeah. is to you, the little girl. You've, be, you, yeah, you've been working with uh, Karan, you know, and he's, he, he's known to be doing family films. Yeah, and a very good message. And everybody comes, you know, all the audiences have also loved this film. Since you have married also recently, any message you would like to give for joint family and uh, nuclear family, you know, like girls are now getting into nuclear family, you know. Message that I would like to give through this film, I think this film says it all. And I think the, um, what Karan said right now about the line that even um, Dharanji says in the film, very important, a very important time, ke ghar nahi toda jata, rishte nahi तोड़ते अभी इनके कैंसिल कल्चरल सीन से ही ले लो हम बहुत क्विक टू जज हो जाते हैं समटाइम्स वे हार्डर इवन ऑन आर ओन पीपल लेकिन जो फैमिली आपकी स्ट्रेंथ और सपोर्ट बनती है वो कोई नहीं बन पाता और वो मेरे लाइफ में भी है विथ माय फैमिली एंड माय होल फैमिली माय मदर माय बोथ माय मदर्स माय मम एंड माय मम इन लॉ माय फादर हियर एंड माय फादर अप देयर माय सिस्टर्स माय ब्रदर माय हस्बैंड माय माय फ्रेंड्स दे आर द स्ट्रांगेस्ट सपोर्ट सिस्टम इन माय लाइफ तो उनको ज्यादा ग्रांटेड ना ले और उनको ज्यादा खुद से भी ज्यादा अगर इम्पोर्टेंस अगर आप दोगे तो जिंदगी बहुत अच्छी कटेगी
We'll take Hi. three more questions, right? Karan, three more later. Karan at the back. Hi. Hi, this is Priyanka from Midday. First of all, congratulations for a wonderful film. Congratulations to the whole hi, team. Hi, hi, hi. Thanks. Hi. thanks. Uh, I absolutely love the fact that you showed two married people falling in love with each other. Uh, and it wasn't just two maybe young college lovers in Dharmendra uh, sir and Shabana ma'am. And it kind of just made me go back to Kank, which when came kind of misfired but has found its own audience today. Uh, but I love your commitment to relationships which are called forbidden but aren't. Uh, so when you were attempting Rocky or Rani and you were showing this and you were writing, did you feel a sense of fear that will people get it again or will it be like, will it be like time lagega and then they might, you know, that it might find an audience later? You know, more than um, the Dharamji, uh, so we, st we, we debated a lot with the Dharamji Jayaji track whether we should even show a younger version of it. And then we felt that we would leave it uh, to the imagination of the audience. She says it, Shabana Ji, as Jamani says it very in an articulate manner that those seven days gave her a, a lifelong feeling of love. Those seven days, I felt their relationship was, was just pure and beautiful and it stayed with her sometimes, you know, and then Alia also says it, kabhi kabhi, you know, do pal ka saad zindagi bhar ki mohabbat de jata hai. And I felt that is the kind of emotion I wanted out of Jamani and Kaval's love story. For me, it was very pure. It was incomplete love though. And I felt it was beyond being a forbidden fruit or, or dwelling on infidelity. I felt it was an incomplete feeling because they both sacrificed their feeling because they were both married and they sacrificed it for the good and stability of the family. And then I go back to Gulzar Saab's line, Ke pyar kaha pura hota hai? Uska pehla akshar hi adhura hota hai. So I, I feel very strongly about that line. Uh, a box, box office par Bollywood. Uh, Dan Lakshmi is not allowing us to answer this question. I'm still going to go for it. Uh, I just feel that Sare Jo characters the unka turnaround hua tha. Or logical turnaround tha, emotional turnaround tha. Lekin Jaya Ji, uh, yani Dhan Lakshmi picture mein kehte ke is umar mein mera ghamand aur mera ahankar mujhe maan nahi nahi deta ke mein galat ho sakti hoon. Phir bhi mein tumhe ye shanti ka prastav bhej rahi hoon. Uh, ताकि तुम उसके साथ ना करो जो मैंने किया था तो एक किस्म की अपॉलॉजी भी दी थी और एक किस्म का उन्होंने फिर भी अपना अहंकार दिखाया था मेरे हिसाब से कहानी वहां खत्म होती है जहां ये लेकिन मुझे लगता है दस दिन बाद रॉकी और रानी धन लक्ष्मी के यहां जाते हैं और उनकी ब्लेसिंग लेते हैं सर पार्ट टू की स्टोरी बता दोगे अच्छा सॉरी अच्छा <laughs> लेकिन मैं लेकिन मैं नहीं चाहता था कि हर रिश्ते का एक टर्न अराउंड हो लाइक आई फेल्ट दैट ऐसा नहीं होता घरों में नहीं होता ऐसे बहुत सारे लोग हैं जो अपनी सोच के साथ रह जाते हैं वो 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 बहुत ही रिजिड होते हैं अपने थॉट्स में और वो नहीं बदलते अपने ख्याल और मैं एक्चुअली दैट्स वाई मैंने उनका टर्न अराउंड नहीं दिखाया क्योंकि असली जिंदगी में हर एक कैरेक्टर का परिवर्तन नहीं होता मेरा दूसरा सवाल रणवीर से है रणवीर नमस्कार सर नमस्कार पिक्चर अच्छी लगी आपको अरे कमाल हो आप क्या बात है मेरा सवाल ये है कि जब तोता सर पूरा वहाँ से इवेंट से आते हैं और बड़ा इमोशनल सीन है वहाँ पर उनका वहाँ से आपका एक इमोशनल स्पीच शुरू होता है वो टर्न अराउंड कितना मुश्किल रहा आपसे क्योंकि ये अपने आप एक हाइट पर थे इमोशनल हाइट पर वहाँ से वो सीन पिकअप करना कितना मुश्किल रहा एज एन एक्टर सर मैं तो बहुत ही शुक्र गुजार कि टोटा सर Lay the fertile soil for that uh, emotion to end up where it did when we embraced each other. Um, personally, जब मैं देखता था तो at some point जब टोटा सर अपनी कहानी बता रहे हैं रॉकी को तो I was in tears and then रॉकी बात करना शुरू होता है फिर मैं हंस रहा हूँ कि वो क्या क्या बोल रहा है कि फैटों को फैट नहीं बोल सकते ब्लैकों को ब्लैक नहीं बोल सकते और पूरी पब्लिक का भी रिएक्शन ये था तो I think that's a special scene क्योंकि अक्सर नहीं होता ऐसे कि आप हंसते हंसते रोते हो रोते रोते हंसते हो but uh, all credit to the directors to Karan uh, to Tota sir uh, I have been reading all of the heartfelt react to that scene and it really filled my heart with joy ये बहुत fine line होता है humor और emotion का जैसे कि अंजलि अभी भी बोल रही थी कि 
जब ही उन्होंने एंट्री की तो मैंने उनके लिए वो अपनो हाउस डाउन वाला सीन जो उन्होंने किया है करण अर्जुन की फिल्म मुझको राणा जी माफ करना जब वो सीन आता है हॉल्स में पागल हो गए हंस रहे लोग और फिर इमीजिएटली हार्ड का तमाचा पड़ता है और इतना इमोशनल आउटबर्स्ट एंड बोथ वर्क वंडरफुली वेल एंड देर जस्ट पोस्ट बैक टू बैक जस्ट लाइक दैट तो दैट्स वॉट आई थिंक इज अ वेरी वेरी स्पेशल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ वॉट करण एंड द टीम क्रिएटेड कि एक फिल्म और ऐसे सीन्स जो आपको हंसते हंसते रुलाए रोते रोते हंसाए और फुल होलसम व्यूइंग एक्सपीरियंस दे आप हंसे भी रोए भी तालियां और सीटियां भी पीटी और क्या चाहिए हिंदी फिल्मों में है फिल्मी चर्चा मेरा सवाल कॉमन क्वेश्चन है आलिया आपसे भी धर्म सर आपसे भी और करण सर आपसे भी आपके पीछे एक बहुत ही खूबसूरत लाइन लिखी है लव है तो सब है ये अरे वाह वाह कितनी खूबसूरत लाइन है ना सर थोड़ा सा ये कुछ ऐसी लाइन है जो कुछ लोग महसूस भी कर सकते हैं कितनी खूबसूरत लाइन कौन सा लाइन सर बोलिए फिर से करण गौर से सुनिएगा मैं ये बैक स्टोरी बोलू नहीं 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 जरूरी नहीं है करण समझ गया सवाल नहीं अच्छा बाबा जब ये फिल्म जब भी, भी आ, कुछ महीने बाद स्ट्रीमिंग वगैरह एमेजोन सिनेप्लेक्स सर एमेजोन एंड सिनेप्लेक्स तो एक्सटेंडेड वर्जन सर प्लीज लोग लोग डिमांड कर रहे हैं कि रानी का जो वो थीम सॉन्ग था आ, रानी का जो इंट्रो म्यूजिक है आमी रानी बास बे वो वो वाला और जो भी डिलीटेड सीन्स जो थ्री आवर टेन मिनट्स का जो कट था ना सर प्लीज कंसीडर वी वुड लव टू सी ऑल घर पे बैठ के वो ठीक है लेकिन सिनेमा हॉल में थोड़ा अर्चन हो जाता अगर मैं तीन घंटे दस मिनट की पिक्चर रिलीज करता रणवीर सवाल पे आते हैं मेरा सवाल ये था कि आप धर्म सर आप भी करण सर आलिया ये कितना कितनी फिल्मी बातें लगती है और कितना हकीकत अपना अपना कुछ एक्सपीरियंस आप शेयर करें तो आपके फैंस के लिए मोटिवेशन मिलेगा थोड़ा सा ये लव है तो सब है कितना जस्टिफाई होता है ये चीज कितनी फिल्मी बातें और कितनी हकीकत है सर मैं क्या कहूँ आई हैव लिमिटेड लाइफ एक्सपीरियंस पर इतना जरूर कह सकता हूँ दैट इफ देर वॉज एवर अ ट्रू एंड ऑथेंटिक लाइन इन दिस मूवी और something that i could share from whatever i have learned from life to yahi hai sach hai satya vachan hai love hai to sab hai love hai na to sab baaki sab samjhe um it is the most special precious and most magical thing that exists in our lives and universe uh, i believe it with all my heart uh, it's not just with your romantic partner aapki family ke sath bhi aapke friends ke sath bhi aapke colleagues ke sath bhi sab ke sath जब लव है तो सब है बोलते हो अगर लव है तो सब है क्योंकि अगर आपके अंदर लव है तो आप खुद से खुश रहोगे लोगों के लिए आप अगर लोगों की तरफ आप प्यार दोगे तो वो खुश रहेंगे आपके अगर आस पास लविंग रिलेशनशिप है तो सब खुश रहेंगे लव विन्स ऑलवेज सो दैट फीलिंग वो कभी चेंज नहीं होगा और इसलिए दिस लाइन इज वेरी एप्ट और आई टेल यू द मोमेंट वी वर डूइंग सीन और इम्प्रॉम टू वो रॉकी से निकल गया और जब वो रानी से बात कर रहा है लव टेल यू दिचुएशन ऑल्सो वो डिस्कस कर रहे हैं एक दूसरे के साथ अलग अलग एंगल्स कि ऐसा है वैसा है ये होगा फिर वो वो कहेंगे फिर ऐसा होगा वैसा होगा इतना कॉम्प्लेक्स और कॉम्प्लिकेटेड है जो सिचुएशन में रॉकी और रानी है उस वक्त और वो उसको पूछता है तू बस मुझे एक बात बता तू लव करती है ना मुझे त्यां कहती है लव है तो सब है लव है तू विल फिगर आउट एवरीथिंग एल्स मेन चीज वो है लव है तो सब है एंड आई